Hello everyone! Now that Thanksgiving has passed, we've officially moved into the most glittery time of year. And as per usual, I'm celebrating the joyous season by making festive crowns out of wreath supplies I got from craft stores. You know, the usual way of celebrating. This year I have two crown tutorials to share, and the first one is on this lovely white and green glittery piece. It's easy to make and fun to wear, so I highly suggest giving it a try. For this project I'm using plastic boning, which will serve as a base and ribbon to cover the boning. I'm also using white floral wreath picks, which are glittery, of course, some light green wreath picks that are also covered in glitter and fake snow, and even more wreath picks. These are white with fake pine cones and lots of glitter. I'm also going to be using a few of these velvet birds, and it isn't pictured, but you will definitely need some hot glue. Start by trimming the boning to be an inch larger than your head. Make sure to keep in mind the hairstyle you'll be wearing with this crown, since that may add some bulk underneath it and you might want to leave a little more room. Glue the ends of the boning together into a ring. Then use a binder clip to secure it while it dries. And in the meantime, you can cut up the decorations. And by cut up, I mean removing the wire stems. I'm using tin snips for this, but sturdy scissors or wire cutters could probably do the job too. I'm also cutting some of the pine cones off and the green sprigs are getting cut into smaller pieces since that makes it easier to place them where you want. Now back to work on the base. Remove the binder clips and cut a piece of ribbon to be long enough to cover the boning. I glued the ribbon to the interior of the boning first and I put the glue on the boning then pressed the ribbon into it. I found it stuck better this way. Once it was glued to the interior, I folded the ribbon outward and glued the edges together. And now the base is finished. For the decorations, I started by gluing the green leafy bits on so they extend out from the top and bottom edges. Then I glued one of the pine cone branches on. And since this piece is larger and heavier, I held it in place for 30 seconds until the glue had set. Then I glued more green branches coming out from that, and next to that I put one of these flowers. I only had three of these, so I tried to space them evenly. Then I continued gluing the green sprigs and pine cones onto the band to make it appear wider. Once I had built it up, I added another flower to the other side. And I surrounded that with more green pieces and pine cones. I ended up using the pine cones still on the stem to cover the remaining portion of the band. Then I continued decorating that with greenery and pine cones. I placed another flower at the back and kept building off the decorations and band until I liked how it looked. The final addition were two little birds. I removed the clip from the bottom of these, then glued them onto some of the greenery. And that's it! The glittery wintry ringlet is complete and ready to be worn. I paired it with a sequined lace chemise that I made last year and an eyeshadow that matches the greenery. This is quite similar to pieces I've made in the past, just in a different color scheme, but I love it a lot and can't wait to make something that goes with it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I shall talk to all of you very soon, and if you're interested in any of my previous holiday headpiece tutorials, then I will have them linked down below.